Welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry, I didn't get um, a recording done last week. Um, ended up sick. Still feeling like it's going to progress to get worse. And then I've been busy with life. So I wanted to go ahead and get this done today. Um, this will be being unboxed today for this video. And then I will be doing a kidding up video. This painting is going to be done in a um, DP along that will be starting on March 1st. I will have all the information with that for that um, DP along when I do the unboxing. Or I mean, excuse me, when I do the kidding up. So while I kid up, I will go ahead and give all the details for that. This is a DP along that is being done with other creators here on Facebook. Or I mean on, um, oh geez, on YouTube. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, they'll be um, doing Instagram and possibly Facebook with it. But I will have all the details of that in my next video that I do for the kidding up. So this is a new release um, as of the 15th of February. This was two of four that I purchased. I've already done an unboxing of one of them. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. So this is, as you can see, a Diamond Art Club. It is round with a B and it is 28 by 22 inches or 71 by 56 centimeters. And let's take this cap off. I'm trying to cut the cord on my camera. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Tuesday. This is one of two days during the week that I do not have to babysit. And fortunately, since I didn't have to babysit over the weekend, I was able to get all of my housework done. So that allows me to have time for diamond painting and other things that I just kind of want to get done. Um, sorry for the paper here. I'll have more to talk about while I'm kidding up. This will, the kidding up video will be a longer video. I can't get this box to open. Hang on here. Sorry about the light pad. I wanted to um, do a light pad um, comparison with light pad opposed to no light pad with this. So oh, here's the canvas. Sorry about the balancing. The drills. The sticker. And the toolkit, so box is empty. Sorry about the squeaky leather chair here. So this is, like I said, as a round kit. So we'll do this real quick here. Most anybody who's, everybody who's had a Diamond Art Club painting knows what comes in the kit. But I will just do a quick run through. Oops. So if you get a round tool kit, it comes with a single placer and a pen and your squishy, two heart shaped pieces of wax, a few baggies. I don't use these baggies. These ones will be saved. Um, I have got to get some stuff together to send to another creator. So you get a few baggies. You get your clear tray with a funnel or with a spout. A six placer. Sometimes you get a six placer, sometimes you get a three placer. So there's your toolkit. And put this away. Oh, goodness. My hands don't want to cooperate. Love these bags. These bags I do save. These things are so useful for so many things. This off to the side. Set the drills off to the side. 
So this uh, painting comes with has 50 uh, colors and has two ABs. Yes, there's two ABs. And this is Chuck Pinson's Bluebird Song. Oh, upside down, sorry. I fell in love with this painting when I seen it. This was a I have to have painting. And I've seen a few unboxings of it. It's absolutely beautiful. I think this has to be one of, if not my favorite painting by Chuck Pinson. I say that every time I, he puts out a new painting. But, so there's the sticker. Set that off to the side. Let's get into this canvas. This is what we're all here to see as a canvas. All right, and then we have our step-by-step -step instructions. A little message saying thank you. Then there's your nine steps. And then if you can use a coupon code for 10% off your next purchase. I don't need the instructions. I know how to diamond paint. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this the opposite way to help get it to lay flat. And we will nice to take a quick look at this on the light pad and off light pad to be able to see. So with Diamond Art Club, you don't you don't need to use light pad. Um, not generally. I use a light pad all the time because I have bad eyes. And I want to I I really use the light pad mainly when I don't need to, only because I can see that I've got them laid a lot straighter, <clears throat> but it's not necessary. And that's why I want to do the comparison of um, with the light pad and without the light pad. I won't be laying any drills. I will just be showing you. And I'm sorry I can't get this all in the same in one view. But as you can see, there's the stone house. There is... Uh, this is upside down, isn't it? No, it's right side up for you. Um, there's the stone house. You look down here. Where is it? You can see one of the bluebirds. Oops, where am I? There we go. There's a bluebird. There's also um, a bunny. You can see the hay and such in the off into the corner here. This is all hay. Um, let's see, there's another bird. I'm trying to see where the other bird is. There's another one here on the top of the fence somewhere. I think this is it. No, that's too far. His wings are, are stand out, but you see like lilacs, I'm assuming. That's what that is around in here. And you move this over. Oh, there's the other bird. It was out of view. But you've got the bird here. And you've got the two birds here. Um, let me see here. Then we've got the house. The red, big red house. And this here is a well. And got trees here. So roll this up here. This one here, a lot of a lot of the areas you're not able to see real well without until you lay the drills down. But you got the tree here, and then you got the beautiful mountains in the background. And or is it was it mountains? No. Well, there's there's kind of not mountains. Excuse me. There's like a hill back in here. Is like a hill. But all the clouds are up across the top here. So you can see. You can, I know you're not able to see the stuff real well because my camera is bad. I'm working on getting a new webcam. But very sticky. 
very, very sticky. This one I may actually lay to dry a bit because it's really, really, really sticky. There's no wrinkles, no bubbles. Any wrinkles that you do see here are not in the canvas. It's just in the clear cover. Once they lay it, it's perfectly fine when they first lay it, but then they roll it up and it causes the wrinkles. All you have to do is peel back your clear cover and take your arm, rub across there, or you can take a ruler and help straighten it out. But it's just the air that gets in trapped in between the clear cover and the canvas. It does not affect the canvas at all. So, okay, so we see that this is what it looks like. I'm going to turn it upside down here just so I can. No, oh, I'll turn it the other way. Sorry. I just don't like the view that you have upside down. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, it's weird that I see something in here that I don't see. Oh, these are barrels. These are like wooden barrels that are by the house. They've got the weather vane up here on top. This is a horse that is in, at the doorway. There's also, I love this. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get it in view. These here, right here, this is like a hoe and a pitchfork. So there's a lot of detail in this picture, or in this painting. So let me go ahead and turn the light pad on. So we see this is what it looks like with the light pad. I'm going to try and bring this up to see if you can see the symbols. And everything is all blurry. Yeah, I've got to get a new light pad. It just does not pick up the detail like I'd like it to. But you have got your schematic here on, this is the, would be the top left side. And it shows 50 colors. And then you have a thumbnail that shows you what the final um, outcome is. Then here on the other side, at the bottom right hand side, you have the other schematic. So you can see that it, it I mean, you, I know you can't see the symbols, and again, I apologize, but you can see this is what it looks like on a light pad. Let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off for a second. So this is without the light pad. This is my light pad with one brightness. Oops. That's one, two, this is full. So you don't need the light pad to diamond paint. It does make it easier in some cases. I'm gonna turn off all the lights here and see. This here is with no pad, uh, no um, light at all near me, just the light that's from my window behind me. Let's see if you can see the symbols. Nope, you still can't see the symbols. I gotta get a new camera. Yeah, that, this is a definite. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to the girls. And I am gonna turn my light on here. We'll see if this helps with getting the clear, um, the true colors. If the crinkle bothers you, please mute your phone or your computer, whatever um, device you're using, for just a few seconds while I get through opening this up. I see something that I normally don't see. A bag must have busted open when they were packing it. Yes, I've got Ziploc bags. I usually don't see Ziploc bags in here. Right. <clears throat> yeah, there's several Ziploc bags. I've never seen so many Ziploc bags in the um, 
initial opening. Usually I'm putting them in the Ziploc bags, <clears throat> which I use a storage kit, but um, sometimes the drills don't fit in my little containers, the whole bag, so I end up putting them in a Ziploc bag until I'm ready to form in the container. So these are the loose. So this is 728. <clears throat> We have 9.15, this is 9.47, this is Eight fourteen. Eight fourteen. Nine o five. I'm working on a, another Chuck Pinson right now. Nine o five has. Nine o five has been the life. We have thirty three. Uh, three thirty three. Six ninety nine. Three ten. This is the only bag of 310 in this painting. 938 and 3746. That's in that strip. <clears throat> Excuse me. 35 or 356. Excuse me. 3854. 322, 797, 3860, 3772, 666, beautiful red, 550, the beautiful plum purple, like plum or eggplant, eggplant purple. There's our first ABs, 136. Flip this over and see. <clears throat> can get a better clarity of how shiny they are. For those of you who don't know what AB stands for, it stands for Aurora Borealis. It has an extra coating on these drills that gives it a almost like holographic or extra shine, gives it a rainbow shine to it. It makes the other diamonds um, stand out more that are just plain. Then we've got like a mustard yellow, 832, taupe, 3861, a sky baby blue, sky blue type, 3325, at 3840, and we got somebody who wanted to hitch a ride, pretty purple, a 3830, <coughs> 3830, excuse me, like a, a rusty clay color. We have 823, a dark navy blue. And this, yeah, they must have been running out of ink. This is a mess. It's um, 798. Uh, that one there. Now these are our larger bags. Larger bags are always in a strip by themselves. We have 420, 498. Sorry, it wasn't in view. I apologize for that. 498, 155, 317, 415. We've got a charcoal gray, and then we've got a lighter gray. Got 414, so that, that's a gray that would be in between these two other grays. 3770, peachy color, which I don't know where that's gonna go. That's, I think that there's either part of the, I think it's part of the uh, cobblestone in the, in the building. 400, 321 is a pinky red. 154, it's a nice deep Merlot. 318, 
$7.75. That definitely will go in the sky. $129. Here's our other ABs. <clears throat> and let's put this around here. See, I can see this, the sparkle. That's just. That'll really cast reflection. That's really pretty. When the light hits it, when tr when the painting is completed and the light hits this, it, it it's going to look like unbelievable. Seven ninety nine, three fifty five, four thirty six, seven eighty three. Another mustardy type yellow. Nine oh four. Another gray, 413, and only one bag of 3371. So there's that, and I have a rogue drill here. I just decided that. Oh, that's trash. Just a little piece of trash. Not a big deal. All right, so let me go ahead and get this put away here, and we will then take a look and see where we will find the... ABs on this canvas. Give me one second here. I'm going to one of these days learn how they package these things. Once you get them open, you can never get them back in the way that they package them. But one of these days, I'm going to figure it out. And it won't be today. <clears throat> At least not at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this back over. And your ABs are 129, and which is number one, and 136, which is number two. So you will find your blue ABs, the 136, which is, like I said, number two. You're going to find it all through here. In this area, it's going to be scattered throughout here. And along in here, you're going to find... Uh, it's, which it's really funny that it's not even really in the bird so much. I mean, in this one, yes, you're going to find it in the wings of the bird. You'll find it over here in the window of the house. You will find... That's pretty much about it. There's some here off in this corner here. You'll find it down along in the, where the um, lilacs or the, they might even be bluebells. Those may be bluebell flowers too. No, they're not. I don't think so. They're purple. So, but you're, you're going to mainly find them in, in the, in the sky, or I mean in the, uh, in the, in the, where the flowers are actually. So there's that. Then the number ones. They're all scattered throughout this cobblestone of the house. And along the tree in here, this is a tree. I think this is where it's like a maple tree. I know this isn't the tree. I apologize. It is the um, wheat. Um, you'll find it along the picket fence. Along the ground here, you know, which is like, you know, it's the hay. It's already been cut. Um, you might find some, where is the, um, the well, I'm trying to find the well here. Uh, you'll find some in the well. Um, find some along here where the, you know, the kind of goes off into the distance. So yeah, this is a beautiful painting. I can't wait to uh, get started on it. Like I said, I will um, be kidding this up here shortly, and I will be making a video of that because starting March 1st, there will be a DP along that I'm going to be involved in, and like I said, during my kid up video, I will go into more details for that. 
So um, I hope you like this painting as much as I do. If you would like to get one of your own, um, head on over to Diamond Art Club. And I think this was... I think this one was $44.99 when I got it. It may be sold out. I will check and see and let you know in my next video. Like I said, if you're interested in this painting, I will post the link um, to Diamond Art Club where you can purchase this. And um, if you like this, or this video, please give me a thumbs up. If not, that's okay. And share can share the link. I have all the links for you to share. I have my Facebook page. You can reach out to me there if you'd like to through Messenger or you can email me. All those links will be in the description box below. Still working on the giveaway. Not much has happened. Still just a, um, I'm a few short on what I need to hit my 200. Hoping that that gets moving soon because I do plan on um, giving more detail of my giveaway how it's going to be. I've had a few um, creators reach out to me um, wanting to donate to the giveaway. So I'm waiting to uh, get that taken care of. I'm a little concerned on how I'm going to do my giveaway after what a creator just experienced. So I'm, I've got to figure out the method on how I am going to do that. It will not be. I repeat, in the video where I discuss the giveaway, it will not have a heading for the video giveaway. So if you are interested in hearing about the giveaway that I will be having for my 200 subscribers, then you need to watch a video or you won't find out about it. I'm going to be monitoring how I do this quite well. Um, chances are you will have to be, of course you'll have to be a subscriber and to both my YouTube channel and my Instagram channel, or Instagram page. And I'm probably gonna make it to where you will need to send me proof of your using your driver's license or something related to that if you, you know, when I announce the winner. I will not announce the winner on a video. I will contact them directly. Once I've contacted them, letting them know, then I will post the video of doing the the picking, the random picking. So there's going to be there's a lot of things that's going to need to change with giveaways here on YouTube because we've got into feel pe people that feel entitled or they want to argue that you know on how the, if they were the ones that won, they picked something prop, you know, first or set whatever. It's of course drama, YouTube drama. People feel entitled. People get upset when their name hasn't been picked, so they want to scam these people, and it's just something that I'm not about that. If that's going to be con continue the way it'll be, this will be my one and only giveaway. I am not going to let people that are, who justifiably won lose out because somebody lied and said that they were the person. I don't have that kind of money to be replacing things. I don't know who does. Once we purchase these items for giveaways, we are taking this out of our own money, whether it be YouTube money or whether it's out of our own pockets. And it is stealing. If you say you won and it's you are actually not the person that won, that is theft. I don't care how you try to paint that picture. Not only are you a liar, but you're a thief. And hopefully YouTube does something to correct this because they're going to lose a lot of YouTubers. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to give up their channels because they want to be able to thank their subscribers, but because there's such horrible people in this world, they can't, they can't do it. And it gets discouraging. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will catch, see you back here shortly with my kidding up video. Talk to you soon guys.